Hi everybody, welcome to a, another episode of the Fluval 13.5 Marine Aquarium. So, in my hand we have got a brand new pump, we've got the Reef Pump Compact 500. Obviously, if anybody's got this aquarium, you know that the pump that comes with the aquarium um, is loud. No matter what you do, it vibrates. And it doesn't, doesn't put out enough flow so i've got the compact pump which is the high quality base fed ultra dc pump base fed water intakes it's your small footprint's ability to work in low level water unique ultra compact space saving design latest electrical pump technology for high power and flow rates variable speed control up to 10 different settings Super quiet are running, soft start feature to increase impeller life, unique self cooling system and low wattage for extra safety. Designed for reef and freshwater aquaria. Um, this sets you back 60 quid. Um, and there's some instructions on the back. Um, flow rate 500 litres an hour, maximum power 10 watt voltage. Um, 12 volts, PSU voltage 100-240 volts, 50-60 hertz, max head M 1.5 M and outlet 6, 12 to 16. So we'll flip the camera around and we'll unbox it and then obviously we'll show you it once I've got it installed. Instructions. Controller. Look at that. Um, I must be going to have it to about 30 to 40 percent. That must be feet. It saves a lot of room in the chambers. That's one of the heads for the hose. Plug. It's a UK, so it comes with a UK plug. And look how small that pump is. Look how it puts out for a small pump this size for what the volume the water it pumps out is pretty awesome and just think how much room we're going to actually save in the back chamber two different heads i must probably use this head for the pipe work so the pump's in and there's the controller so and this is how quiet it is you've got on and off feed look at that 10 Fahrenheit, off, 3, then you've got intensity, 1 to 10, I've got it on number 3, so at number 4, 5, 6, 7, I'll show you the intensity of each one, that's on 7, that's on 8, nine that's ten that's the highest and whether i'm gonna then you got one which is slow ripples like that two which is a bit more three which is like that which i think i'm going to stick to having it on number three decent little controller and i will show you the pump in a minute so that's it on number Three. Listen to that. You can hardly hear a thing. And look how much room you got. You've got a heater in there now as well. But just listen to that. Just listen to how quiet that is compared to the fluval pump. Absolutely quiet. That is all you can hear. Which is the flow there. That is it. It's putting a decent amount of. As you can see, decent amount of flow out, and that is on setting number three. Obviously, with the wave maker, decent flow. Definitely, if you've got this flu and you're looking at, and you're in the UK, 
or the US and you're looking at pumps, I highly suggest paying the money and getting this TMC pump. Absolutely quiet and the flow is decent as well and obviously it works for it also works for fresh water as well as salt and it is putting out a decent bit of flow to be honest as you can see media chamber obviously next upgrade will be the baskets I'm only getting one basket I'm not getting both baskets because I've got the flow adapter on there I'm going to get the second chamber basket and for my sponges because I want to make my own sponges rather than this sponge and this chamber is going to be all my media obviously I've got ceramic at the bottom and this kind of media at the top Plastic media, so I've got a mixture of that. But yeah, I thought I'd show you the new pump. And obviously, next couple of month, next couple of months, I will be getting more upgrades. Obviously, getting the media, the media chamber basket. Obviously, also looking at getting the mesh lid at some point in the future, and changing the stock lights. But currently, I'm not giving up on this tank. But currently, my main aim at the moment is now I've got a new pump. Just to get this green algae sorted out. I can't snail I can't snail and Lazarus are doing well of the substrate, but I've just got to get some uh, margarita snails and a turbo just to help with the algae on the rocks and the glass. With that pump. It's pretty quiet. You can't hardly hear anything. Great job. If I find the flows too, I'm going to add some purigen as well. Next. Yeah, if I find the flows too little, I can adjust it, but that's the flow. So we'll turn the light on and have a look at it with the light on. And there it is. The light's blue. Got given a got given a, an enemy that's walking around, it's not found this rock yet. But as you can see, Nazareth and Conch are rarely rarely tackling this substrate. It was a lot worse than this. Obviously the only thing now is a snail for the glass. Nemo's loving it. Anphelia, it's shrunk and gone small. So I don't know if it's gonna make it. Um, so if anybody's got any suggestions in the comments, if the Anthelia is going to make it, then let me know. All the other corals are doing fine, but the Anthelia is just not doing so good. I don't know whether it's too much light or what. So let me know in the comments if the Anthelia will make it. Maybe I should move it. Obviously it's right in the middle where you get a lot of white light, so I don't know whether it's just too much light. But there you have it, Nemo's loving the flow. Hopefully this moves into the flow now. So yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments if the Anthelia looks like it's dead, if it's completely shrunk. Or let me know if it will grow back. Obviously it's still waving, and it's still blue, but it's not fully grown yet. I don't know how long it's going to take for it to grow. So, as always everybody, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, if you want to see some more tarantula videos or aquarium videos, then it would be awesome if you could subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment, as it really does help the channel out, and stay tuned for some awesome videos coming soon, bye for now everybody.